to export the points you just surveyed, click on project at the bottom, then export, and you can build your own export format that you want. So if it's a specific format, you can just go to add format and then scroll right down and then you'll see there's a list of options. You'll see that we currently have some data in the selected field already. I'm removing that and they will now be placed at the bottom of my screen. And let's say I want to say I want my code first, then I want my easting, my northing, my elevation, and then my name field. And you can obviously add any other field that you want to the list. So we just scroll back up to the top. You don't want to use a header in most cases, so leave that off. And then you can choose to have a CSV or a TXT or an Excel file, uh, whatever your preference is there. The comma delimiter will be the value used in between the columns. And then if you output the latitude, longitude format, you can choose the specific format related to what you want. And in this case, that's not applied because I'm actually doing northing, easting and elevation but you have to choose a number of decimals at least right and uh, then just when you're done you can give this setup a name so i'm just gonna call this uh, my custom i like to just give it some more other name and then we press the save button now that is a selectable item. So if I choose this format now and I say, okay, I still have to give my file name and I have to tell the software what format I want to export. Now, if you have any control points, you can select that. Any point that you typed in or imported from an external program before you even started this project can be exported in the same file. And if you have a base coordinate and you want to keep a record of that, you can switch this on. For now, I only want the survey coordinates and then I can say only the survey of today or if it's an ongoing project, I can say only the points for this week or all the points. Or I can even define a start and an end date or you can even filter the specific name or code fields that you used. You can even say which base you want to export. In other words, only the points from that base will be exported. In most cases, I'm just going to export everything. So that is my default setting. And I'm just going to say next, where I will give my file a name. And then I will pick a folder in the folder list that I want to export. Now, bear in mind that you can also use cloud share services like uh, Google Drive or Dropbox or WhatsApp by switching this to share but you have to have those cloud-based services installed for you to be able to use that. I don't, so I'm going to switch that off and just put my file in my MMS design folder and press export. And that's it.